Welcome to something a little different. Let's see if this will help some of you. And if it will, I'll keep doing it. If it won't, well, then I'll quit. <laughs> that's pretty simple. So I'm going to go over the summary side of the homework. Uh, that's the one that's not required, but this can help you a little bit. I will give you a bonus word in somewhere in this, and that'll help you even more. So the lesson is 7-1, and we're talking about parallel lines that are cut by a transversal. Remember, parallel lines are two lines in the same plane that never meet. They just go along together, and I already told you before, it's really sad. They share so much in common. They'll never meet. It's a bad joke. I'll keep using it. A transversal is a line that cuts two other lines. Now, this unit is all about transversals that cut parallel lines. Remember, a lot of these rules don't apply if they're not parallel. You can still get the complement or the, not complementary, the supplementary angles and the opposite or angles equaling each other. But outside of that, you won't get anything else. So remember that when parallel lines are cut by a transversal, there really are only two angle measurements formed. And once you find one of them, you'll know all of them. So all I need is one. If I knew this was 60, then I know the opposite angle is 60. I know that the corresponding angle is 60, and its opposite is 60. Likewise, because it's 60, I know that together these two form a supplementary angle and supplementary angles equal 180. So 180 minus 60 will give me 120 and then I know the opposites and the correspondings and I could label the whole thing. Do label the whole thing before you answer questions. So let's go down and look at some questions. Uh, Today is actually a pretty decently easy homework. Uh, as long as you do it, it doesn't get very hard. So it says in each diagram a transversal cuts parallel lines. Name the angles that are congruent to the indicated angle. Congruent means the same. So we talked about uh, parallel lines that are cut by transversal. There'll be two angle measurements. And since two parallel lines cut by transversal makes four or eight angles, four will be one measurement and two or man, I'm really having problems. And four will be the other measurement. So if it wants angles that are congruent and it gives me one angle, there's going to be three other angles that are congruent or the same. So the first one says angle one, and that's angle one. And I'm going to circle all the angles that are congruent. I know the corresponding angle, which is the angle on the same side of the transversal. The corresponding angle for one is five. And I know the opposite angle is three, and the opposite angle of five is seven. So the angles congruent to number one are angle three, comma, angle five, comma, angle seven. That's a really terrible angle symbol, but I'll accept it because I wrote it. So down here we go at we go A. So again, we'll circle the angle involved, which is A. The corresponding angle for A is G. And the opposite angles are E and C. And all these are congruent because they're all the same. So I'm going to do it alphabetically here. So the angles congruent to angle A are angle C, comma, angle E, comma, angle G. All right, the last one over here. I'm going to move it over a little bit so I can see it. Uh, the angles congruent to angle Z. Well, I go up here and find angle Z. The corresponding angle is angle R, and the opposite angles are T and Y. So the angle congruent to angle Z are angle R, comma, angle T, comma, it's really tough when you get a T, it looks like a plus sign, and angle Y. And I've done that first part. So here's your bonus word. Uh, if you write this on a funeral homework, I'll give you five points of extra credit, and that word is what I'm going to make up the word raccoon so I think I spelled raccoon right I don't know if it has two C's or one C if it has two C's well correct me make yourself feel better yeah. so in each diagram a transversal cuts parallel lines and the measure one angle is given write the measure of the remaining angles of the diagram remember in parallel lines cut by transversal there are only two angle measurements involved. So if they give you one, they've actually given you all. So I'm going to take this, and I got 150, and they've labeled the corresponding angle. Remember that the opposites of those are also the same measurement. Now I've got four angles done. I know that two angles cut or bisected by a line are supplementary. 
I think I said supplemental earlier. I meant supplementary. So to do that, they both equal 180, and all I've got to do is say 180 minus the angle I have, which is 150, and I get the remaining angle, which is 30, and I can label all my angles as 30. I didn't put my degree signs here. 30, not a lot of room, and 30. For those of you who write terribly, this is going to be a lovely exercise. Uh, do me a favor. Don't make a complete mess of it. All right, moving over a little bit. Let's look at this one. Well, they gave us 135. I know that the corresponding angle, the angle on the same side of the transversal, the corresponding angle is 135. I know the opposite angles are 135 degrees. I now have four of my eight angles filled in. To find the last one, all I got to do is remember that supplementary right there. So 135, I take 180, which is what that supplementary angle is equal, minus 135, I get 45. So all the other angles are 45 degrees. So far, so good. Let's look at this last one. So 25 degrees, I'm going to go over here to the corresponding angle. This one doesn't leave you a lot of room. Say 25 degrees. I'm going to do the opposite angles, 25 degrees. I now have four of the angles filled in. To find out what the other angle is, we know this is supplementary, meaning it equals 180. So 180 minus 25 will get me 155. So these angles are all 155 degrees. And that's that in a nutshell. Uh, remember, parallel lines cut by transversal, we only really have two angle measurements. There are eight total angles created, so four more one measurement, four the other. Good job, keep it going.